Good morning. We are back for our devotions. How is your morning? Some of you I know you're going to work. Some of you, you're still home, you work from home. Some of you are, are conducting morning services for your church. Those who are ready, you can come and we take the devotion to another level. I am always humbled to serve my God and to, to serve God and people. Come and we study the word of God. Come and we learn a few things. The Holy Spirit is willing and ready to teach us what we do not know and what we already know. He's willing to teach us if we are willing to allow him to teach us. Good morning. Hope you're all fine. pray and open with a word of prayer Heavenly Father, King of Glory we thank you for today we thank you for the new day it is already morning time in Uganda people have woken up to go and work Father, I dedicate today into your hands I bring Uganda into your hands I surrender Uganda into your hands Father, watch over Uganda as people are getting out of their houses to go to work Father, go before Guide them, protect them, Lord. Protect them against the spirit of death that is roaming around during this season. Hide them, King of glory, in your blood. Father, bless their day. Bless the works of their hands. Whatever they touch, Father, bless it. Heavenly Father, King of glory, those who are at home and are working from home, Lord, bless them. And those who are having ideas, who are cooking, who are preparing ideas so that they can present them when they are given the permission to go out. Father, I pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I pray for creativity. Father, I pray for the spirit of understanding, wisdom, Lord, that can take them to another level in their own projects. Father, King of Glory, and those projects that stopped somewhere and they're not shifting the houses that stopped somewhere, the foundations that stopped somewhere. Father, this is the time you intervene and take over. Some people have loans and they don't have money to pay and the bank or whoever gave them money is threatening to take away their property because of the money they borrowed. Father, intervene in the situation. Father, I pray for miracle money starting today and henceforth. Father, miracle money, it is only you who has that father it's only you who can do it it's only you who can intervene it's only you who can provide father provide for them provide for our families provide for our friends father provide in the u.s provide in europe provide in asia provide king of glory in australia provide in africa king of glory provide for the world because we need you lord many people have lost their things many people have lost their loved ones many people have lost time to do anything they don't know what to do they are stranded but father intervene this morning Speak to each and every one, Lord. Give them a God-given idea, Lord. An idea that will take them to another level. An idea that is new and fresh. An idea that looks like it's a, another person's idea, but an idea from you, Lord, however much, however big it multiplies. Father, you will, serve, you will help each and every one to make it in life because you created us. You have everything. You have the power. You have everything for us. Intervene and take over. Lord, as we are going to share your word in the devotion this morning, Lord, help us understand your word. Help us understand how you work. Help us understand things the way you want us to understand them. I thank you. I glorify your name in Jesus' mighty name. I believe and pray. Amen. Um, today is a new day. Today is... Uh, 
the 10th of July. There's a way July is rushing very fast. I, I myself, I'm like, wow. Today is 10th, the 10th day of July. And uh, let's go straight into the word. So today is the 10th day of July. And uh, our devotion today says, growth in Christ. And our scripture is, instead, it is Ephesians 4 and verse 15. Instead, comma, speaking the truth in love, comma, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head, that is Christ. Let's open our Bibles. I, I requested you that when you're attending anything concerning God, you carry a Bible, you have a pen, a book, and uh, you're full of the Holy Spirit. In other words, at night, engage into acts welcoming the presence of the Holy Spirit, especially during this lockdown. Don't engage in any other thing. You are the church. You are the church and is coming back to take a church that has no wrinkle or spot. Don't forget that. You are the church. You are your own pastor in your own house. Other people are just visitors. But you are the church. It starts with you. I told you the Lord wants the family altars built back. That is why you see the churches are with their families. Are with their families. Jesus had the apostles as his family. And when Jesus died and went to heaven, he rose again and went to heaven. And he told the disciples, he's leaving them the Holy Spirit. And the first church is in the book of Acts. When they were in the upper room and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, a church was birthed. Church starts from the, in the house and it starts with you and me. I am the church. And he's coming back to take a church that has no wrinkle or spot. But don't forget that temple. I told you we'll look at the temple. We will look at the body of Christ. Now you, I think now you know what the church is all about. But we'll look at the temple. What is the temple about? What do they mean when they say, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit? In the Old Testament, the temple was a building. They had a building where they had the high priest, and the high priest used to go to the Holy of Holies. In the Catholic setting, they still have the priest. Amen? Into the Holy of Holies. Into the Holy of Holies. Now, how does your temple look like? We will look at, at that, don't worry, very soon. Now, our devotion is... Uh, Ephesians 4 and verse 18. And guess what? You as the temple, you're coming into the political arena. You as the temple, you're building a project for God. I told you everything you're doing right now belongs to God. It is not yours. You're just a custodian. And before you do anything, you get capital from who? From God. When someone gives you capital, you have to account for each and everything that you put in a project, that you invest in a project. Some of you don't have money right now. Some of you have borrowed money and you're into debt and you don't know how to pay that debt. But the Lord said he's willing and ready to help you out if you trust him. So today, yesterday we, look at, we looked at grow in faith. Today we are looking at growth in Christ. Ephesians 4. And verse 15. Let me hope each one of you who has an assignment, you're doing your assignment. And you're attending all the classes as required. Because you, if you don't attend classes, you're going to fail the exams. You need to be ready. There's no way you're going to have the word of God when you don't read it. Before COVID-19, we made God look like a lie. 
now God wants to, to use the reality of the word of God. In other words, you have to read the word of God. God speaks in different ways. There's no way God is going to speak to you when you don't read the word. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do before you get out of the house is read the word of God. Same thing when you come back, even in the middle of the day. I told you prayer is a lifestyle. We got that from Pastor Ben Ochola. Prayer is a lifestyle. Word of God is like food, your daily bread. When you don't eat, you're going to starve. You're going to die of hunger. Now your spirit needs food. If you've been feeding your spirit on other things, this is the time you change. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15. That's why we are doing devotions and the other things. Ephesians 4 and verse 15. Please make sure you attend your church, but there are things that are a must. That project you've started needs to be birthed to well. Then it has to be nurtured for it to grow. Ephesians chapter 4, let's read from verse 14. So that we are no longer, let me start from verse 11. Um, that is a bit far well, let me start with 14 so that we are no longer 14 feels like it's starting from space that's why I go back up number let's start from number 9 verse 9 now this expression, I'm using the Amplified, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 9. Now this expression, he ascended. What does it mean except that he also had previously descended from the heights of heaven into the lower parts of the earth? I told you on the 3rd of June, the Lord walked down through a portal that was opened by the divine encounter that was handled by Apostle John Bunjo in Bombo. We had a divine encounter. So the Lord, the portal opened and God came down. And God is walking on earth live. And he's looking for someone who is ready and willing to work for God with all your heart. At the same time, the devil is also walking. During Job's time, the devil was in a meeting when God called for a meeting. And the devil asked God, for permission to touch Job. He wanted to prove to God that Job is not worth it. Now, ha, for us, when the Lord starts to, uh, when the devil asks the Lord, it's so that to see whether he can prove a point. I don't know whether we can survive because of the way we live our lives. When you read the book of Job, you will see how God talked about Job. Job was a servant of God. He was touched, the devil touched everything. And the Lord allowed it. Because God trusted Job. Now you does your God trust you? If the Lord gives the devil an opportunity to touch you, are you ready? COVID-19 came. But most of the people have not stood the wave. Our friends died. You come into the political arena, be ready to obey all instructions. You cannot be in a place of royalty, authority, and you yourself, you don't obey instructions. Before you become something, you need to show that you can obey instructions. But if you are someone who revokes authority and instructions, I don't think you're the right candidate. Because... Let's say you become a president or you become something. Are you ready? Are you willing to tell people to wear the mask? You've been abusing the current president. But let's say another wave comes and it finds you in that seat. 
what are you going to do how are you going to handle the situation when you yourself you don't want to obey instructions the way you want to be treated is the way you should treat people don't treat people less or more or anything the way you want to be treated is the way you treat people guess what what you do for someone today somebody else will do it for you somebody some most of the times it won't come from the people who are doing it for you it is going to come from somewhere else when you sow beans you get beans you don't get jackfruit you know back in uganda we have jackfruit some people abroad don't understand those things when you put beans in the ground you're not going to get carrots that is not how carrots are planted some of you put carrots and expect to get a sweet potato you know how carrots sweet potatoes and irish potatoes all go on the same ground like they're put in a in a mound kind of thing how can you put carrots and you expect to get to get sukuma wiki you plant sukuma wiki you're not going to get dodo you're not going to get nakati it is sukuma wiki period so number nine the number ten he who descended is the very same as he who also has descended high above all the heavens that he he his presence might fill all things that is the whole universe and his gifts to the church were varied and he himself appointed you see how they keep going back to the church why because politicians you go to church to be prayed for those who are starting new projects you call your friends to pray for their projects those who are pregnant in any kind of way you call your friends to be prayed for why because if you can handle it you feel you're stable you're steady then there's no need of telling anyone to pray for you and you know we all pray to god even the witch doctor says if god wants why god because psalms 24 is in play the earth and its fullness belong to the lord we will read it today i pray i don't forget so that you understand god has the authority over you and your entire thing you don't have the authority whether you're big in size whether you're very tiny whether you're very tall because when someone dies it is always six inches below the ground and it's the only business that starts from up down other some of you want to start up down are you a grave everything that has life starts from down up they put the seed in the ground and it 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 goes into germination same thing when a man sleeps the woman to make a woman pregnant it is a seed that is planted politicians what seed have you planted let's continue and he's number 11. you know everything goes back to church everything has church in it everything has church in it there's no you're not going to run away from church but when you need to understand the 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 history of church where does church come that is why you watch never give up as a must there they will tell you how church came into play in your particular country some of you have gone into cults and you're confusing church with just the scientific part of the story and i'm like e -e -e, my dear where did this scientific gospel come from especially people abroad now you i will keep reminding you people abroad you left your country and you knew jesus is lord and savior and you went to another country because you wanted to fit in and you started attending a particular cult 
that is not healthy. The Lord wants originality, availability, righteousness, the word of God, and prayer as a lifestyle. The fivefold ministries are needed back in church. Number 11, and his gifts to the church were varied and he himself appointed some as apostles. You see how it's taking us back into the gifts? Growth in Christ. You all go to church and you know Jesus Christ, whether Yezu, 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 whether you change the name to Yezu, Ye, Yeshua, whatever you want to call it. It stays uh, Jesus. The English version takes us back to Jesus. You're not going to confuse things and bring uh, the culture part of it. I hear black Jesus, whether black or white. Uh, when I read the Bible, it never talked about that. I only saw the coat of many colors Jacob made for Joseph. This business of you moving from your father's house and you go to another house, they are eating beans, you've never eaten beans, now you try out the beans, then you start abusing your father's food, should end in COVID-19. East or West, home is best. The Lord wants originality back in the world. Global warming was not there when God was creating the earth. Engineering back in the play. And his gifts to the church were valid, and he himself appointed some as apostles. Apostles are special messengers, representatives. Apostle Wunjo is in that line with all the apostles you've heard about. Apostle Wunjo and the wife fall in line. Apostle Chimuli falls in line. Dr. Mulinde is an apostle. Apostle Grace Rubega. I'll mention some of your apostles that you cut around. You know, some of you, you've started making your own apostles like the rosary. You put them in the neck. Their prophets are all in the neck. And I'm like, hey, what is going on? God left the position and we are putting our apostles in. And you know how some people have refused to give their lives to Christ, but they are in church and they are all singing, apostle, prophet, my prophet, apostle. And I'm like, ah. let the God of that man be your God. That man has, or woman has a personal relationship. And for you, you don't have. Why? Because for you, when you go there and the man prays, things work. And you just see the man, you don't see the God in that man. COVID-19, after it leaves, it is time to put the God of that man on top. Not the man of God. Man of God. Hey. Woman of God. That's how they pronounce it in other countries. And himself appointed some as apostles, special messengers and representatives. You see how you're going to go in the political arena. You become a representative. Some of you are representatives in your families. Some of you know, some of you don't know, and you do things the way you want. Some as uh, prophets, some families have prophets and you don't know why you've never discovered the calling upon your life. And now you want to come into the political arena. Before I know it, you want to come into what? The different things. You want a new project. You want to become something. Are you ready? You want to be a leader, but are you ready for it? When the Bible is not your daily food. When prayer is not a lifestyle. Guess what? You are surviving either on your mother's prayers or your pastor's prayers. 
it is time to put everything in play as a person. Stop being a dependent. It is time to stand in the things of God. You stand out straight for your God. Some of you are hiding, 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 hiding. When they talk about Christ, you hide this side. Yet when you want something from him, you're all like, oh, 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 oh. you follow the man or whatever. And that has made some ministers weak. That for them, they just follow and follow and follow. They, they allow to be followed, they never follow. I told you, pastors, you are in a position of a shepherd. A shepherd follows the sheep. Change the things. David never left any sheep outside. David was a, 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 a commander-in-chief. He's one of the men that won all wars. We looked at the army. And we finished it. If you want, you can go deep into the army because there are other things. Before you enter the army, you're, you're recruited. Then you're taken to a process where they enlist you. Then from enlisting, they enroll you. Then they put you in a particular section of the arms. And inside that particular arm, hey, there are other things you need to learn. Go deep into the army through the word of God. David had an army. Joshua had an army. Moses' time, there was an army. Remember, Joshua was a carrier of Moses' bag. Everything you do on earth is in the Bible. There is nothing new under the earth. Okay? So don't think you're very special out there. When God says, COVID has shown us, you know someone dying without even writing a will, and it just did like, as if we are breathing. Some people have very weak lungs. Why? They've been smoking all their life. They've been drinking and the system is very weak. And now they're telling them they're using chloroquine. Do you know how chloroquine works? Those who are not in the countries where chloroquine is used. Someone is like, chloroquine is killing people. Chloroquine is not killing anyone. The body is weak. Ask the doctors how the body works. The science of the body. How do you start giving, administering a heavy medication to a body which has been drinking for the past 20 years? Which has been smoking for the past 20 years? Some people have a weak immunity system. Their organs are already dead. You drink and drink and smoke and smoke. When a disease comes, when a plague comes, you cannot survive unless the Lord stands in the gap and says, no, you're not going anywhere because you haven't finished my work. But I saw people making a lot of noise, blaming the presidents, and I'm like, it is a devotion. Aren't we devoting? And some, before you open your mouth after COVID-19, be very careful. You need to have evidence. You need to understand how things work. Before you start embarrassing yourself at your age, we've embarrassed ourselves. It's so bad. And God looks at us and like, Eva, no. Is that how... Kakaka behaves. He estas was his This is too much. I thought she was bright. But she has no wisdom at all. And I tell you to watch Divine Encounter with Apostle Bunjo and you get wisdom. Intelligence. The army needs intelligence. Some as prophets who speak a new message from God to the people. Your prophets are speaking old messages, meaning the divine encounter closed on them. When your prophet starts comparing prophecies of Daniel, thousand Daniel, 
be careful. I told you the Lord told prophets and watchmen to get off the Elijah's list. He wants to speak to you and give you new things through the heavenly media. Because the social media was tapped in and was destroyed by the devil. He owns the social media. You forget when you go back in Genesis, we gave the devil authority. God gave us authority, men, and we gave the devil authority. Read your Bibles, you'll find it. You need to read the Bible. You, this business of just giving you food all the time ended before. When COVID came, you need also to go no Osaka. Now when you the holy man, you dig into the word of God, meaning start reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. This business of just carrying your phone and you go to the to, to church, you don't even know where Zephaniah is ended. Enough of breastfeeding. We shall breastfeed only the babies, and on Saturday we have a session with the babies. But if you understand and you are 18 and above, 12 and above actually, no more breastfeeding. You need to read the word of God on a personal level. Your prophet is supposed to speak a new message. This business. Ah, now I say, my friend. Let me leave that part. Some as evangelists, you can actually, you yourself, you can get a message if you focus and read the word of God and do a prayer as a lifestyle and you stop following, following your prophet. The prophet is supposed to follow you if he is your pastor. Now I don't understand churches that don't have pastors and they have only prophet. The church has only prophet, it has only apostle, it has no pastor. What are we doing? Hey, this is serious. The fivefold ministries. The church has no pastor. This is trouble. The church has no evangelist. Hey, we are finished. There are churches that have, I told you, Uganda are giving birth to a hybrid. A hybrid has all the five. Some of your pastors have five, but they've never dug deep inside it. When you get, you know, those, uh, those old whales, I normally see them in old movies, where you put a bucket on a rope, and you put, then you the bucket gets water from a bore hole. And then f there are some that you pump and you pump and you pump. There are some, when you watch old movies, they use a bucket and put it on the rope and it goes down. Some you pump with a fun kind of look, the wind vein. And it pumps water from deep down. I used to work with a friend who is good with the geotechnicals. He's very good. I love Odeke. I salute you, Odeke. I worked with Odeke. And I learned how the geos work. He's a man who deals into digging boreholes. He's an expert and he has taught many young men and women who were ready and willing to learn on, on job, not in school. You dig a, a boa hole. Now pastors, meaning apostle, prophet, you find out if you are a hybrid because your church is dying. People are going to come in church and they want a pastor and an apostle comes out. Oh, a prophet, you're going to punch each other because these guys don't understand the fivefold ministries. They don't, but they want a blessing. And you know how all the five talk to God? A pastor pampers. An apostle never pampers. When you're going to dig and plant a seed, do you pamper the ground? Murugano, you know, kujayo rumbugu. No sima, no sima, no sima, eh? You even bring a, 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 a tractor. And you prepare the ground. An apostle prepares the ground puts the seed. Then the prophet sees the seasons. Is it raining or not raining? 
Your prophets don't know the seasons and the time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Political guys, you are coming on the rest, but is it your time? Or you came because you're tired of the current government? And I told you, you've never been in politics. You want to start from up down, like the grave. The grave starts up down. If you ever want to survive on the political arena, you start from down up. I look at some of you, you're, you're in those high places. I'm like, hey, let me hope this person did enough research. Because up there, you have to have the grace of God and most of you are not working with God. That is the truth. Prophets speak new message from God to the people. Some are evangelists who spread the good news of salvation. The church has no evangelists. Those who are there are not in line with evangelism. They are something else. But they are trying anyway. But they need training. Who spread the good news? Some of you go to spread the good news. You end up abusing those you've gone to preach the gospel to. How are they going to get saved when you're just condemning them? The love is not their church. The love is not their completely and all. You go fish, you bring the fish home. You don't wash it. You cook the fish when it is not washed. You're going to eat soil. You're going to eat soil. There's no love at all. Some of those people are wounded. They need help. Politicians, you're coming, but you're coming in a race where people are wounded. Ah, now COVID-19, they don't have food, no jobs, nothing. Are you ready? Is your pocket strong enough to stand the wave? People are used to you. It is you guys who made people get used to your money. And some as pastors and teachers to spread and guide and instruct. Guide and instruct. Pastors and teachers, guide and instruct. Now, you political people, have you gone to a teacher for guidance? Or you just coming out, I can also handle that man has stayed too long, I hate him, he's a person. We are dying of poverty, that man has brought poverty. Did he carry the poverty in his bag and bring it? Does he walk alone? Let us put some science, some common sense. How many common sense is required? How can you tell us that the man has brought poverty? Where did he carry it from? Yet you are under his government. He doesn't work alone. Hey, we are doing badly. When you are attacking, eh? when you go to war, you need to make sure you have spied. We looked at the army. Political guys, you need to spy. Otherwise, you're going to be caught off guard. And he did this to fully equip and perfect the saints, God's people, for works of service to build up the body of Christ, the church, until we all reach oneness in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, growing spiritually to become a mature believer, reaching to the measure of of the fullness of Christ, manifesting his spiritual completeness and exercising our spiritual gifts in unity. We are looking at growing in Christ. If you know you are a Christian and you Muslims who go to the church to be blessed, hey, the Lord looks at you and he says, are you a thief? Kumaweka Kama Number 14, which is our, okay, number 15 is our verse, number 14, so that we are no longer children, spiritually immature. Hey, 
tossed back and forth like ships on a stormy sea and carried about by every wind of shifting doctrine. It is the Bible, not him. Every doctrine that comes for you, you're like a, 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 a paper. When the wind blows this side, go you go. A windy venue, go you go. You're just like that. <laughs> Can't you stand stable still and know that I am the Lord? Your God says the Lord. You put men in the position of God. That is not healthy. That is why you're immature. Now some of you are crying, my pastor, their phone is awful. Because you never learned how to pray. You never learned how to read your Bible on your own. <sighs> Tossed back and forth like ships on a stormy sea and carried about by every wind of shifting doctrine, by the, by the coming, cunning and trickily oars of men by the deceitful scheming of people ready to do anything for personal profit. People who are coming on a political arena, some people ha have personal issues. They want to pass their issues. They are going to make you make mistakes. Why? Because they have the money. When you sleep with the devil, you eat with the devil, you vomit the devil and that's it. Watch and pray. Don't pray and watch. It is <laughs> pastor. Apostle Bunjo who said some of us we are praying even you will watch. And how can you pray for someone you for something you haven't watched already? How can you win someone you haven't spied? Verse 15, our main verse, then we go into the other. But speaking the truth in love. In all things, both our speech and our lives. Yes, verse 15. Speech, both our speech and lives, expressing his truth. Let us grow up in all things into him, following this example, who is the head Christ. You see how they bring back the truth? And you looked at the army uniform, where you're supposed to have the belt of truth in your waist, right? Christianity, when we go into the book, Christianity without spiritual growth can never be, bring deep and true joy and satisfaction. When you received Christ into your life, you did not only accept a system of doctrines and dogma. You promised internal faithfulness to him because you believe in him. The strength or weakness of your faith depends on your relationship with the risen Savior. The Lord knows you better than you know yourself. You, however, can only understand him better if you share your life with him <laughs> and do so with all your heart. You will grow in Christ only when you stop focusing on yourself. Your own interests, ambitions, and desires will sink into the background for the sake of those around you who are distressed, who are lonely and deprived. Growing in Christ is not an exam exercise meant to create a comfortable religious feeling far removed from the hard realities of life. It inspires the believer to positive action. Renew your life of prayer. Rediscover the spirit of Christ in the scriptures. Discover the growth in Christ. Discover that growth in Christ will lead you to new dimensions of life. The the author of the book writes down, Lord Jesus, make my faith a dynamic power through the renewal of my prayer life and Bible study. Amen. Oh no. I left the other book the other side. Sorry. So, 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 sorry. Let me see if uh... We're going to look at the next president. Sorry about that. Give me a minute and I get. How did I leave it there? This is not the book I want. Sorry about that. I'll have to go and get the other book. Sorry for leaving you alone. But I have to.
business of not having <laughs> a stable studio, but it's okay. It is all good and works for the glory of God. Okay. Yesterday we looked at uh, John Adams. Today we are looking at James Monroe. The experienced Monroe set forth the United States' first foreign policy. Key achievements articulated the moral doctrine of the country's first foreign policy, improved relations with the UK and Canada, signing the Treaty of 1818. Why do we look at American politics? These guys influence the economy worldwide. And you people love the US with a passion, you love the UK. Most of the countries were, were colonized by these guys. So that is why we go into their politics to understand how things are done. You can still look at the history of your own politics. Okay? It is very good to have history when you're coming on the rest and know how to survive in the rest. Those who are doing projects, you can put also this in play. When you focus, there is a lesson in everything. Okay? So... James Mon Monroe recognized new Latin American countries as independent. He was the fifth president, 1817 to 1852. Born April 1758, Westmoreland County, Virginia. Died July 4th, 1831, New York, in New York, education. College of William and Mary, age of at inauguration 58, Vice President Daniel D. Tom Tom Pickens, opponents Hughes King first term none, ran unopposed second term. Uh, first Lady Elizabeth, okay, Monroe's dis administration gave birth to the era of good feelings. Oh, do you have any good feelings? Okay. Yeah, that was it for for Monroe. He didn't have, they didn't say much about him. Apart from, let me see if there is anything here. I told you, when you're looking at these people who are coming into the political arena, yesterday we discovered there are three people in one. And of course, God is in three. But God wants your three to be in sync. Who you are, what you represent, and what you become. Those three have to be in sync. Stop wearing many clothes. You won't survive in the political arena. When they start undressing, I saw some people have been, and they've started undressing you. People are going to dig into your past. <laughs> Ugandans, you're something else. I've seen it even in other countries. The way you dig, you can dig. But may the Lord help us continue digging. I pray that you don't wake up one day and you also want to be someone's president. We shall dig you. <laughs> I don't like digging people because I don't think it's healthy. You know how Pastor Bdembe wrote the song, Who cares? <laughs> I'm waiting to do my own challenge with that song. Who cares? <laughs> Pastor Bdembe, I'll do the challenge too. I agree to that challenge because I had fun with it. That song is very interesting. How you started with the can a can saya yes to afu kabad. Lengere bata lengere puta. Kwade chisimunga chilinge tofali. Church, don't go to a level you cannot handle. Originality, availability righteousness and the word of God as a lifestyle. The fivefold ministries are still missing. Some of your friends are not watching the things they're supposed to watch. Hence they are getting rejects by doing and showing all their dirty linen on social media. I told you I'm in the publishing house. There's some things you guys bring on their face on their WhatsApp groups and I've already seen and I'm like Thank God. <laughs> Some of those things are embarrassing.
and you also want to come in the political arena and you don't respect instructions and you're making noise about the current government I am waiting to see your own government how it will be let us pray Heavenly Father King of Glory we thank you for this time we thank you for your love continue to show us your love Lord as we grow in Christ Father, help us obey the rules and regulations. Help us understand the fivefold ministries. Help us understand how the Holy Spirit works. Because we've defaulted many times because we do not know how the Holy Spirit works. Father, intervene in this. Father, I pray for everyone who is going to stand in the political arena. I pray for the new projects. I pray for the pregnant women. I pray for anyone who is pregnant in any way. Father, it is my cry and prayer, especially for Uganda, to birth the right babies. Father, we are tired and done of the wrong babies who are not even taken care of. And you know how every child is important in the eyes of God? And the parents are not taking care of their babies. Why? They are giving birth to the wrong baby. Parents are so selfish. They go out here, they are having fun. Before you know it, they are saying, oh, it was a mistake. Says who? Lord, I pray that everyone takes responsibility of their own. They should own up for, to their responsibility. For them, they are calling it a mistake, yet it's their responsibility. Father, intervene. Lord, intervene and help us understand how things work. If a man is able to lie down and make someone pregnant, let him be a man enough to stand and take care of their child. Uganda, you're giving birth, but Uganda, you need to stand up to your child. After the child is given birth to, that child needs to be mentored, breastfed. The things that are going to help the baby to be birthed are divine encounter, never give up, the push, stand, then the exercise, the physical, then the counseling, then the intercessors, prayer as a lifestyle, then we have deliverance, and then we will have the go nations. Lord, help us understand these things and how they work so that we don't get pretext anymore. I thank you. I glorify your name. Father, I pray for today. Lord, there are different functions that are going to happen. I pray for the media because it's really disturbing. People have been cut off because of the media. They cannot present their things. But Father, teach us how to be original. That when the me, when the instruments fail or when the media fails, of course, people have started recording and putting up the other recording for the live so that we don't miss out. But Father, also teach people how to use the drums. The drums are very good instruments that when you learn how to put them in play, ooh, music is just coming out well. Father, I pray for the City Beat. They have something today. I pray for Collective. They have something tomorrow. Father, intervene. The different churches that have conferences, Father, intervene. And Lord, as we prepare for the Bunjoville today, Father, intervene and speak more to us. Intervene and speak more to us through never give up. Intervene and speak to us through push. Intervene and speak to us through stand, Tampa, Florida. Speak to us through exercise with Auntie Mo. Speak to us through Pastor Mark Chigozi with the counseling. Speak to us through the intercessors, Pastor Ben Ochola when he's praying. Father, speak to us through Pastor Tom when he's teaching character building. When Duncan Williams, the, bish the bishop, is uh, teaching the, the deliverance and building character, Lord, and uh, teaching us how to pray. Father, teach us when Pastor Musa Ture is teaching, Lord. Father, when he's teaching and when he's praying. Father, teach us when Apostle John Mulindi, the doctor, is teaching in the Go Nations. Because those are the things that are helping Uganda give birth. Then, Lord, the other things that are helping the baby to grow, to breastfeed, to be nurtured, the different churches that are doing different things, the different people who are coming out to teach people finances and other things, Lord, how to live in life, how to stand as women, how to stand as young men, how to stand as the youth. Father, I pray that wisdom is put in play in each and everything. And people learn the different things to survive, especially to get ready for the new normal where the world order is soon 
being put in place because they're those who are forcing it out. Father, intervene that any next plague that is coming will find us ready because COVID-19 called us off guard. I thank you. I glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. See you during Apostle Wunjo's time. Then never give up the push. Stand Tampa, Florida, Pastor Ben Chico, Pastor Ben Ochola, intercessors, Auntie Mo with the exercises, Pastor Mark Chikozi. I will be posting them and bringing them and inviting you as we go. Those who have YouTube channels, please let us know so that we can publish you and uh, we go to another level. Those who have projects and you need people to stand with you, intervene. Please contact uh, Moshave Dixon. He has a dolphin project that is helping people on a bigger level. You look, on Facebook, you look for Moshave Dixon. I refer it to him first. I also publish people here and there as the Lord leads. If you're already established, thank God. But God is requesting people and he wants people to trust him because he's ready and willing to publish you on a bigger level. And read Psalms. 24. Let me read it before I conclude. So that you understand that God has, God has everything under his palms. Psalms 24 and verse 1 to Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the streams and the rivers. Who may ascend unto the mountain of the Lord and who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to what is false, nor has sown authors deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation description of those who diligently seek him and require him as their greatest need. Who seek your face even as did Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heart, heads, O gates, and lift them up ancient doors that the king of glory may come in who is he then this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory who rules over all creation with his heavenly arms don't forget those who are coming into the political arena whether you're muslim or not please buy a bible this is a living money buy a bible and equip yourself that journey is not a simple journey. They will tear you apart. And if your wife cannot stand the wave, you're going to go into a divorce which is not required at this time. People are angry. They are going to bring your history and you're going to look useless. But be ready to stand the wave, especially if your season is now. Make sure you know the season and the times. Have a blessed day. See you then. Thank you for logging in. May the Lord bless you.